Uh, All Mesa. right, go talk about other boring stuff. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Mesa, you're, you're my go-to tech guy, right? Yeah. How do you feel about Xbox, and how do you feel about frames per second? Um, They're pretty good at it. Yeah? Uh, yeah. A- Xbox has begun to roll out its new FPS boost feature, which is set to allow, as the name implies, uh, higher frame rates for older generation titles from the Xbox One generation backwards. Uh, currently, it's only just the Xbox One generation, not necessarily 360 and OG. Mm. Uh, kind of weird we even have to call it OG Xbox instead of the Xbox One, but whole naming convention aside. Uh, the first five games available for the new feature are Watch Dogs 2, New Super Lucky's Tale, Sniper Elite 4, UFC 4, and Far Cry 4. A lot of 4s in there. Uh, these higher frame rates aren't achieved by individual developers pushing out new updates to take advantage of the Series X and S's more powerful hardware, but by platform-wide software provided purely from Microsoft's end. So in the case of Sniper Elite 4, the frame rate is doubled from 30 to 60. And uh, Super Super Lucky's Tale has increased from 30 to 120. Uh, Jason Ronald, Program Management Director, has noted that the feature is, in, is entirely optional can, and can be toggled off by players if they want to opt out, just in case, for whatever reason, they want the lower frame rates. Um, but I think like my general thought on this is that this is completely revolutionary, and it's going to bring that entire generation of games on uh, Xbox One, not not necessarily graphically like textures or anything like that, but it's going to bring it so much closer as to what uh, people's expectations are nowadays. Mm-hmm. And in comparison, Sony not doing backwards compatibility whatsoever uh, prior to the PS4. Uh, this just leaves them in the dust even further. Just like not only do we have backwards compatibility in the first place, but now it's going to be reasonably on par with what we can expect nowadays from contemporary frame rates Mm -hmm. so i i I think this is and the fact that developers don't have to put any effort into this this is entirely done by xbox and so they're going to be like um they're going to be going through more games on somewhat of a regular basis um they're kind of doing it individually it's not going to be like a big wide thing just like here all the games now have this but Mm. it's I think this is fucking revolutionary if your only means of going back to seventh generation titles. Um, if the Xbox is your only solution, it's a hell of a free thing you're getting. Play play uh, Alan Wake at uh, 120 FPS when Please. that comes out. Please. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Tech Wizard Mesa, what are your thoughts? I um, mean... I mean, well, first things, it makes a lot more sense for this to be from th- uh, Xbox One than uh, 360 and such, because that, because the Xbox Series X, you know, th- Xbox One Xbox Series is basically computers. You're basically just telling it to use extra power. There isn't that layer of emulation that you have to worry about going back to the 360 and the original Xbox. Um,. Uh, this, yeah, I mean, this is just a, this is just, I mean, it's a great update. Um, I'm sure the, uh, the optional I'm assuming is that it's probably a bit more, um, uh, volatile than, um, than on paper it might sound. I'm sure like there might be some, some running issues that, you know, just putting it back to 30 will fix. So, um, but yeah, this is, this is really exciting and I really, really hope this puts more initiative behind Sony upping their backwards compatibility because, um, because right like now the, it's, it's not existent outside of like PS now streaming, which is mm-hmm. less than optimal for yeah. most people. And it sucks because like that 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 PS2 emulator that they have that they're using is fantastic and could easily just be opened up to everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, same, uh, I think they also have. A, I'm sure that there's a PS1 emulator that's of, of the same caliber. And I know PS3 is difficult. You know, we the the the, the modding community has just gotten uh, PS3 emulation going, so. Um, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure that that's going to be a lot more difficult. Um, At some but, level, uh, like I, I know this is going to be an incredibly simplified uh, line of thought. Wouldn't it be easier instead of like trying to get the PS3 version of game working on PS4, or PS5? Couldn't they just take a 360 version and kind of strip out the Xbox end of things and just replace like the. Um, uh, like like button prompts with just uh, PlayStation ones. 
That that's probably I very mean, oversimplistic, but it seems like an easier solution than trying to um, kind of rewire the PS3 version with, with how it's relying on the cell um, architecture. That processor. I just, that just seems like such a extra, a lot of extra work for nothing, honestly. Um, they, like they would really want to stay. I mean, and like they would want to have something that's replicatable so that they can put um, the different Uncharted's that they can put um, the Sly Coopers, they can put all of those through that method and, you know, get the product at the end. We can just build a time machine and stop them from ever doing the cell processor. That might be easier. Oh, that might actually be easier. <laughs> Yeah, stop that! Stop that! Um, stop that! Uh, uh, Air Force supercomputer from happening. <laughs> Sarah, you're uh, the only one here with a Series X. Is this yes. uh, good news to you? Um, I mean, so I haven't really played anything backwards compatible on my Series X yet. Uh, long story, but at my job, I can play video games when there's no one in the store. So I've been playing through Kingdom Hearts two on the Series X. And I would say the load times are literally non-existent. Like, I literally go from being in the gummy ship to going into a world and maybe takes, like, 0.5 seconds. It's incredibly fast. It's crazy how fast it is. Um, I mean, I will be skidding more Xbox 360 games in the near future because I'd mind to, like, replay some of my old, like, favorites. So, hey, guys, if you can get Shadows of the Damned running at 120 FPS, I'll be very thankful. It's just for me and me and me alone. No one else. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think they're willing to put Where's in that time. Mesa, don't ruin my <laughs> dreams, damn it. I want to play Shadows of the Damned at 120 FPS. <laughs> I, I want to see demons that look like penises. It's going to have to stay FPS. a dream. In the no. chat, uh, the mysterious doc says, PlayStation 3, it only does everything except, except emulate. emulate. <laughs> I mean, like, I really wish Sony would start doing this. I have a bunch of PlayStation 3 games at home I would love to play again. And yeah. his Infamous PlayStation is incredibly dumb. <laughs> Infamous, Resistance, we can maybe forget Killzone. I've kind of soured on it. I went back to play. It doesn't really hold. Okay, me. but if but if Insomniac keeps fucking hinting at another Resistance or like a PlayStation 5 port of all the older games, I would be very pleased they, they won't playing. stop. With they my emotions. Posting, cut, they keep post screenshots on Facebook. Just They're stringing me along game. and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm like, dude, give me weird aliens in like World War One. I. I don't even remember the name of the aliens. They were the Chimera or something like that. They were yes. just like weird hunched over like lizard men. Like I want more resistance or else I want like a... Why are there not more guns? For those that don't know, the bullseye at the... Uh, the Chimera yes! rifle. You can oh, tag. God, you can tag so cool. an enemy with like with the darts, and so that makes all your shots lock onto them. So you can just like hide behind cover and just shoot up in the sky. All those bullets are just going to automatically trace to the enemy. It's that one was so cool. I mean, like I kind of got that feeling with some of the tech guns in a uh, cyberpunk, to where once I hit an enemy once, I would just hide behind cover and just keep firing until I heard the like death sounds. But like nothing can replace the bullseye, man. The, those those games were so much fun and really good and people are just now realizing how good they were people are going back and playing them and they're like fuck these games were really good Corey, you're not an xbox guy and you have a decently powered pc and so like as we covered all uh xbox exclusives are you gonna be coming to pc and there's game pass obviously does this ever so slightly nudge you towards possibly grabbing one um I mean, not really an Xbox. I so <laughs> it's funny uh, that you bring this up because my roommate who got an Xbox Series X uh, is letting me use it for when I want to play Xbox games on Game Pass for stream. So that way, my my computer isn't taking the bulk of the game while also having to push it out onto the internet. So that way, my computer can just focus on the stream, and my and the Xbox can focus on the game. Um, and so essentially the Xbox series X that he has is right behind my computer right now. So I've been, I've been utilizing it and, uh, he's like, yeah, I mean, it, it might as well get some use since I'm working so much and I don't, I don't really have much time to play it. So I would say I, I, we were talking about this on the pre-show. I don't need a fucking series X, but I'm tempted to get it 
because of this slash the instant resume, which lets you uh, suspend like up, I believe it's like up to five games at the same time, um, mm-hmm. which is pretty, pretty freaking cool. I but can, all, I can all, confirm I wanna, that it's nuts. <laughs> all I want to say before we move on uh, with this, you can play Gears of Wars one, two, and three at a frame rate that is that isn't in the twenties. So that yeah, sounds pretty dope. I want to see Gears two running at. 60 fps please. gears 2 is still so freaking good yeah it really <laughs> uh, although i am i am very uh a giant worm i am very excited to now that i have utilization of the xbox series x i am very excited to play the sequel to um uh freaking what's that game called um senua's sacrififice yeah. Mm. yeah, one of the only reasons I bought a Series X because of the yeah. rumor that that, that it was going to be a Series X exclusive. Uh huh. And I was like, ah, fine. <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> like, God damn it, Microsoft. But like, a part of me kind of makes me pissed though, because why would you make a game that's so in in instrumental in showing how m- mental health works for people who don't deal w- with it? Stick it on a rectangle that not many people are going to have because it's impossible to get and really expensive. Yeah. I don't know. But that's, but yeah, that's uh, Hellblade and whatever the fuck the next Gears of War game is the only reason I bought a Series X. Oh. 